Welcome back. As we count down the weeks till International Women's Day on March 8th, Future News brings you a series of exclusive interviews with inspirational women. Our guest today is Lebanese writer and journalist Jumana Haddad. In 2009, Jumana released I Killed Shahrazad, Confessions of an Angry Arab Woman, which has been translated into 13 languages. She's about to release a new book titled Superman is an Arab on God, Marriage, Macho Men, and Other Disastrous Inventions. Once, she was described as a poet who tumbles down all stereotyped image of the Arab woman. Welcome, Jumana. Thank you, Jumana. So tell me, why is Superman an Arab? Well, basically, um, the book Superman is an Arab is a kind of a sequel to I Kill Shahrazad. I'm trying to uh, talk in it about the other uh, facet of the ugly patriarchal coin, which is <clears throat> the man, because I handled women's stuff in I Kill Shahrazad. And by uh, saying Superman is an Arab, what I mean is that we are done with these uh, fake saviors of the universe. What we really need by now is real men. Men who um, respect women, who, respects, who respect women's strength, a woman's identity, and who, who do not feel threatened by her. You feel that a lot of Arab men feel threatened by women who are strong and who tend to be leaders in, in terms of, you know, society? I think a lot of men actually are like that. It's not only a specific of the Arab society. You know, like with Aikil Shahrazad, I was writing really from a very specific point of view, which is my own life, my own experience as a Lebanese woman. And then I found out when the book has been translated to different languages and I traveled abroad to talk about it, that women even in Scandinavia or in, in, in Germany but or in Colombia found themselves Why in is Superman specifically an Arab man? Is there an experience that you draw from that, which, you, which led you to title the book in well, that way? Well, you know, when someone tells me, I know, uh, I know your, um, uh, I, I know how to protect you and leave it to me and uh, I know what's good for you better than you. Uh, right, you it, call him Superman. Of course, He's it's Superman and I hear that a lot from Arab men. Do you, you are a poet, a writer. First and foremost. A poet, a writer an author. You're going to be teaching soon as well. Exactly. At, at, uh, in two days. In two days. Congratulations. Thank and you're you. also probably one of the most important things, a mother. How do you <coughs> find it? Do you find it difficult to balance being a mother and being a career woman? Because you're very much involved in your career and you're constantly doing a lot of things. How do you balance it all? You know what? Um, I know this is one of the biggest questions that women with careers, you know, ask themselves. Um, I think that um, the main thing for me as a mother um, is to give them support, quality time, love, you know, a recognition. I think this is what kids need the most. But they also need, especially when they're boys, but also as girls, to know that their mothers are not just there. Uh, you know, to, uh, to serve them. They also have dreams, they have ambitions, and I think that such a characteristic can be much more helpful to future generations than just the idea that the mother is, uh, is a possession. I think it's important because many women, when they raise their kids, many women fall in believe, the same vicious circle. Yeah, many circle. women believe that you can't be a full-time mom and a full-time, or a full, you have to choose between their career and being a mom. But you, don't you are have doing to both. Yeah, a lot of women are doing both. A lot of women are, are doing and, both. And how do you handle it? Because multitasking is very difficult. Well, there's always a price to pay, but it's worth it, you know. It's worth, there's always a price to pay, whether on the career side or on the motherhood side. But it's worth it, especially if you want this. I mean, I'm, I definitely support women who want to be 24-7 mm -hmm. uh, with their kids, it should, as long as it's their choice. But if they do have ambitions, for a career, they should go for it because they can make it work as long as their partners, which brings us back to Superman is an Arab, support them as well and pitch in in the work. My question is, you have two boys. As somebody who's very involved in the life of the career of Arab women in general, what is the advice that you give to your boys? What's the best advice you've given them? You know, I've never been a preacher with my kids. I've never basically told them do this and don't do that. I just um, think that as, as, as an example, 
as a woman who lives her life the way I do, who uh, says the things that she says and who believes in what she's doing, that's, um, that's uh, the best advice any uh, parent can give to their kids, just by being who they really want to be, instead of, because sometimes parents say, give, uh, you know, sermons and, and advices, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they act in a completely contradictory way with what they say. And I think that this credibility that I have as a person, as a woman, as a human being, uh, with my kids is something that would serve them. And I did uh, uh, choose to dedicate this uh, new book to both of them. Oh, that's, I don't Hoping know that. that uh, this is what I wrote. I hope that you would grow to be less Superman and more real men, because this is what uh, femininity deserves, but this is mostly what you deserve to be. Superman being a more fictional character as yeah. opposed to the real man. If yeah. you have one advice to give to the Lebanese woman of today, what would it be? Oh, um, I, I'm afraid I'm going to be very tough, but what, what I would love to say is stop indulging yourself in the illusion of a comfortable life for those who are like that, because many women prefer to say there's something, there's nothing we can do and we're having a good life, so why wake up and go to war? Stop doing that because you are not really emancipated. If you go back to the laws, you will see, you will feel a great degree of humiliation. So just do something about it. Feel angry and, and speak up, speak perhaps. up for yourself, speak up for, for, for other women and stop uh, pretending that you are living the dream. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. That was Lebanese author and journalist Jumana Haddad giving her advice to Lebanese women and men.